So we've recently gotten this new pet in Clash of Clans and I'm going to show you guys a neat way to use it. So I'm going back to my Root Rider attack strategy and if you guys want to see the guide for that attack strategy, you can check it out right here. Even though the Root Riders were nerfed, it still works just fine. And as you can see, I'm taking that strategy and I'm putting the jelly on the king. And let's jump into some attacks and I will talk about why. All right, so let's take on this base. And the reason that I actually like the uh, new pet on the Barbarian King here is because when I do these attacks, I like the king to go down the middle of the base with the Root Riders. Some people like to send him on the outside, but I think he's better in the core of the base, at least for me personally. So with the jelly, that helps me accomplish that because he's obviously targeting defenses, but you don't want to drop him too soon. You want to wait until these Root Riders get the walls open. Otherwise, his pathing can still be a little bit wonky, but there we go. We get the walls opened, get everything full sent straight into the base, pop that Warden's ability, we'll rage in, and just like that, that King with the jelly is going to make sure that he stays in. Now, he didn't have a lot of options on this base, but on other bases where there's just so much going on in the core of the base that... Uh, the king likes to go to the outside. That's where it really stands out. But let's go ahead and get some poison down. Where did everything go? Everything's off to the right side. Let's get the RC going over there as well. Pop the queen. All right. I think he's kind of done a bit of a weird split here. All right. Can we get through some of these defenses? That would be super. Go ahead and get one more freeze down on that town hall as it is invisible at the moment. All right. This is kind of a weird path thing for everything, <laughs> but it should be fine. Let's get the wizard on the outside of the base. These lava pups are a nightmare. I really misplayed that poison badly, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. The RC is going to get stuck on some pups for a little bit, but they will get cleared out of the way. And then she should head in towards the core of the base. Now she's going to continue following these root riders around the base. All right, but the king's going in. We'll pop his ability. Get through the monolith. There we go. King will get through the town hall. It was pretty sketchy, but this is going to be fine. It'll work out. So the king will get through the town hall. The RC's still there backing him up. She still has the fox, which is very good. And yeah, just like that, we've got it taken care of. So we'll pop this RC's ability. Make sure this pushes through for a triple here. Got the hogs there. Finally, the enemy king does go down. My king's not going to go to Phoenix because he doesn't have the Phoenix. He's got the jelly. So that is the big sacrifice you have to make if you want to use that jelly for pathing. But um, I think it's worth it in a lot of cases, especially if you got your jelly leveled up. All right, next example here. OK, we got a, an interesting base. What in the world is this? Uh, OK, sure. Getting distracted by his wizard towers. My man's uh, not upgrading those whatsoever. But that's fine. This is for an example here. So the reason that the lower level jelly doesn't matter too much is because you still get like 20 seconds or more for lower level jelly. And really, it's just the first few seconds that are important for this approach because you want that king's pathing to go into the base initially. So once you get through those first few seconds and the king's into the base, then you're pretty much good to go. I didn't mean to drop the RC there. That was dumb. Oh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, looking at the base is probably not going to matter much. <laughs> but here we go. Full send. Everything is going in. Let's go ahead and drop these rages. Even some of these other defenses are pretty rushed on this one. So we better absolutely demolish this one. But here we go. Everything's pushing through to the back end of the base. We got some archers, some ice golems coming out to slow things down. Because why not? But there we go. That king still angry. Still going for defenses. I think he's... Okay, yeah. So that effect has worn off. We got the jelly in there trying to help out. Where did the RC end up going? I'm actually not sure. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and freeze that. Let's, uh... We'll just hold on to the other freezes. We don't really super need them at the moment. I'm go ahead and drop a freeze here for that poison tower. All right. Freeze this. And then... We'll freeze the town hall because why not? I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot here. But the, the point is, you can see how the king path nicely down the middle of the base with the root riders thanks to that jelly and i didn't have to worry about that king going to the outside and just walking around the outside of the base i know some people prefer the king that way he is going to go to the outside now but at this point in the attack it doesn't matter some people prefer to have their king go to the outside and do funneling early on which is perfectly fine but uh, for me personally i've always liked having the king down the middle of the base and the jelly helps me do that more efficiently and then once the uh once the effect wears off, you get a little extra damage from the jelly. It is a sacrifice for the Phoenix, which the Phoenix is very good. But uh, 
I mean, you gotta decide which is gonna be better. It's gonna depend on the base, really. If there's a base where there's a lot of trash buildings on the outside, not like the ones that we hit in this video, then that's probably a situation where the jelly is going to stand out a lot better. If you have bases like this where there's not a lot of trash on the outside and that king's pathing is going to be through the middle of the base anyway, I probably would have rather used the phoenix on these attacks. That is going to do it for this video. I'm going to be looking for some other ways to implement the jelly. I think the next thing I'm going to try is to uh, do a bit of a hybrid, put the jelly on the queen and then charge the town hall with an earthquake. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that'll probably be another video that we do here very soon. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I do appreciate it. That is a wrap for this video. If you guys want to see some awesome Hulk Rider attacks, I recommend checking out this video right here.